This is Michael Jillian. Today we're going to do a review on this cooler over here. So this is a nice cooler. It definitely looks very nice and it comes right up to my computer case's top, so that's really nice. But if you do have a small form factor PC, it will cut into here, so make sure you get a large form factor if you're using this. Um, I'm using it with an Intel um, LGA1151. So uh, what I had to do was put it in this way and put it in that way and do that. Um, the only problem that I have was installing the fan. I didn't realize how these clips works. Basically, the way these clips work, and it can work with any um, fan, uh, is that you clip it in right here. Uh, well, first you clip it in to uh, right here, so it basically goes in there, and the other end goes down there, into there, and then it basically clips on, so you can put it on either side. Um, there is an arrow on the fan that it came with. Uh, this is not the fan that it came with, but the fan that it came with it ha was exactly the same. It has an arrow. That's the airflow. So you want to be blowing air through this heatsink, obviously. And I have an exhaust fan right here, so I think that's a perfect setup. And it uses um, a regular fan header, but also an RGB header. If you have no RGB header, you won't get RGBs. That's why I switched out this fan, because this motherboard doesn't have an RGB header, which means that the uh, the 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 RGB is completely useless. So um, the fan powers, but the R if the RGB header isn't plugged in, you don't get any RGB. So that's really annoying. Um, I just thought I'd mention that to other people. Uh, the fan cools really nicely. It's a little bit weird getting this installed, but if you follow the instructions properly, you should be able to get it in. And it does fit perfectly with my RAM. I mean, I don't want it that close, but you know, it is what it is. Um, and uh, and all in all, this, this whole clip mechanism thing, like I could take this clip off right now and it'll just fall off. So I don't think that's super secure. I wish there was a way to just screw it in normally, like a normal fan. But uh, this is what they have, so this is what they have. And I guess at the price point, that's what it was. Um, so yeah, all you have to do, and I'll show you real quick. I'm going to pull it out like this. See, this is how it is. And then you got to clip it in like that. Um, it doesn't seem so secure. Um, a bunch of the fins are already bent, as you can see. Like, they're not perfect. So that's like a little bit sad and janky, but for 20 bucks, I got this for 20 bucks. For 20 bucks, I guess I can't complain. I, I, I am complaining, but I shouldn't be complaining. I'm going to show you real quick what it looks like on the other side. So uh, here's what it looks like on the other side. Um, and these, I think no matter what you're doing, you're going to put it in like this. Um, it's not the same both ways. Um, I figured that out the hard way. Um, and I was able to just get it in right there. Uh, it was a little bit annoying, but um, if your case, make sure you put it on first if you're putting your motherboard into the case. Make sure you take the sticker off before you install it. Otherwise, it's basically useless. Um, that's pretty interesting. Just a little foam here so that way it doesn't get damaged. The installation guide is not the best, but it worked for me. I figured it out eventually. That was nice, except for the fan part. They didn't tell me about the clips of the fan. Um, here are parts in case you want to use it with other types of ports. Here's extra fan metal parts in case you want to put a second fan, maybe. Um, and they give you some thermal paste, which you should definitely not use and use something like Arctic, Arctic, Arctic um, thermal paste because that's a lot better. Um, it does come with screws, I guess, in case you want to screw it in um, using the AMD's uh, things. But otherwise, uh, this is what it comes with. And um, I guess overall, I'm happy at 20 bucks, but the RGB was just a, it was very sad that it just didn't work without having, um, without having the RGB header. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. Again, this was a review of the ID Cooling SC214 XT ARGB with a CPU cooler with a 120 millimeter fan. And yeah, I think people are gonna get upset at me if I don't show the actual fan. So here's the actual fan right here in this uh, little corner over here with the white fins. And here is the ARGB header. And here is the, power. It's regular fan power. It's the four pin fan. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, I hope this helped you and have a great day.